hey y'all hey let's get into this intuitive reading this intuitive message this divinely led message guided message for nika plus 10 editions this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not you have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself if you're new here welcome and if you're always here welcome back friend okay so really quickly the download is um they're not happy spirit is not happy energy is not happy with your choices with your actions it feels like a waste of time um and so things are going to move very quickly very abruptly in her life um almost like shaking to make her wake up to make her realize what where she is right now because you're so close to losing it all um and so again this is alleged this is just an energetic reading you know i don't know her she don't know me we don't know each other but energetically i can tell you what the feeling feels like and then the cards help me to express these downloads that i get to give them um some form of 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 verbiage okay like it just for me this is how it all connects this is how the pieces come together so anyway spirit is acknowledging that she needs a spiritual bath which coincides with the download it's time for her to get it off of her um there's a lot of energy of saying her name but it's also being weighed down heavily it's very negative um uh, energy attached when people speak of her but it's not just the collective it's also her herself okay because the uh, frequency is aligned the action is aligned with the um communication if that ma if that makes sense so it's time for her to take a spiritual bath spirit is also acknowledging that she plays in it and when i say that she plays in it she dibble and dabbles in manifesting things to come to her but also to mm, she has some ill intentions for other people as well and 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 she ain't gotta like you know like y'all be watching on holly weird hollywood uh rub sticks together and blah, blah blah no she can use her 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 the power of her tongue to you know wish something on someone i'm um, in spirit that's what spirit says spirit says she into it but what she needs to focus on is getting all of this energy off of her getting out of this negative energy field and focusing on self-love relaxation regeneration satiety within and replenishment there's an energy that she's getting ready to pounce on someone or getting ready to do something that's unbeknownst to someone else and again this is why spirit says wash it off get away from it get away from it drain the swamp kind of energy there is love in the background full of emotion this is unbeknownst to someone else who i don't don't know because i don't know her i don't even watch her um but i do get requests to do readings on her and i do them okay but go get it required an inspired action now is the time readiness and follow through um spirit is also acknowledging that in the middle of the deck she wants to get away from something she wants to go away from something she's trying to hide away from something um because there's very little that she can do. I do see a little bit of solar plexus energy here. It also could um, just indicate that she wants to go on a trip. Um, and I do see water. So she could be a water sign and or this could just be emotional. But the energy around this is what's the rush uh, waiting and inspired action only, which is again goes back to fix into now is a time required. Um, but anyway, yeah, trust, relax and allow the flow. Um, and spirit is saying again in the middle of the deck that this is a bringing about a lot of chaos a lot of um disruption a, a lot of argument spite revenge with the pot calling the kettle black i do see blue which lets me know that this um is affecting the throat chakra so the throat chakra is very loud i also see black which just in to me indicates that we all are protected i feel like we all have spiritual advisors that walk beside us and they want us to hear the synchronicities see the synchronicities put the pieces together because that is their way to communicate um so she is protected uh, but there is a lot of hypocrisy when it comes to this energy um when it comes to her having a lot of debates and, and chaos and argument um projection similarity blame introspection is needed spirit keeps leading me back to this water sign who is the water sign i don't know if she's a water sign or the person that um she's having a lot of issues and or will be having a lot of issues with is the water sign and spirit says she keeps trying she keeps trying she keeps trying focusing on receptivity and faith but there's something wrong with your formula there's something wrong because you have a pattern of doing the same thing over and over again and like they say you know expecting something different when you're doing the same thing over and over again that has to be like crazy right got to be crazy but anyway there's more than one way to skin a cat again letting me know that there is some brouhaha which is ill intentions put out into the universe requesting for them to manifest and be tangible right um because she's seeking it she keeps trying over and over and over again okay all right so how does she move in love and light how does nika plus 10 editions move in love and light how does nika plus 10 editions thank you move in love and light all right, spirit says, tap into your cosmic power. Two is significant. Two, 
feels like balance to me as well. You are in the right place. Release the fear of your power. Release the fear. You are sacred. You are magic. Now that you know this, you can no longer pretend not to. So step into your power. Step into your magic in the good way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Find balance. Rise up into your uh, magnificence. Love and accept yourself fully to unlock everything you seek. Stop pretending to be less than you are. Your real power has nothing to do with external gains. Cosmic power cannot be destroyed or lost. You were created by the same force that birthed the sun and the moon. Wake up. Again, wake up. See yourself. Uh, acknowledge who you are. Acknowledge your gifts and your talents. Don't, you know, just settle for the okie dokie. Okay? It's time to move on. Spirit is acknowledging my power shines forth from within. That is what she needs to declare. Moving in love and light. I say to the ancestors. I say to the universe. All right, Nika plus 10 edition. Okay, Spirit. Spirit said you acting like a troll. I do see green. This is in the area of the heart chakra. I also see blue, which lets me know that this is being communicated upon. Um, but are you necessary? Are you a necessary evil? Do you feel you must play devil's advocate? Or are you someone who hates themselves so much they feel they have to try to get others to feel the same way? Damn. If you answered yes to one or more of these questions, please seek help or therapy or get a hobby. I mean, Spirit is also acknowledging get a job. I'm hearing that loud and clear. Get a job. It said hobby. Spirit said a job. Okay. Nika plus 10 editions. Ooh. All right. So two things came out and I'm going to respect it. Spirit said that she is a stoner. Um... Higher perspective, stoner, relaxation, break time, sense of self, dopamine release, stimulation, prudence, easing pain, stress release, feeling good, pleasure, intoxicated, high level, conscious awakening, newborn perspective, cognitive expansion, altered state of mind. And then what we can't see, Spirit said the intellectual in reverse. Doer, the physical, over overanalyzing, body language, confusion, ignorance, mental health issues, emotional, overthinking, mind games, ir irrational logic, over intuition, irrational logic over intuition. And this is next to the stoner. So could this be, thank you, spirit, because you're playing too much with this. You're doing too much of this, you know. Um, could be. Could be. All right. Nika plus 10 editions. I'll show you to the ancestors. I'll show you to the, to the universe. Spirit said with the moon card, she is facing an uncertain path. Um, and this is also subconscious. She knows it. She's dreamt it. She has anxiety around this. Um, but she needs to trust her intuition and acknowledge that she has some hidden enemies. With the page card subconsciously, it's as if this is not even happening. She's like, I'm over here. I'm enjoying life. I've got some new ideas. I'm being creative. I'm happy. But you don't see what's right in front of your eyes. In the middle of the deck, Spirit said, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it because judgment is coming. And like I said at the very beginning, they're tired. They're tired. They're exhausted. They're fatigued. You're wasting time. Um, and Spirit is acknowledging with the judgment card that you're going to have a moment of clarity, that they're going to bring balance to the situation. Um, and it's about you because you're going to be able to see yourself. They, they said you're going to be able to see yourself for the first time. The reflection is going to be magnificent. It's going, I mean, my mouth is opening. It's going to be daunting. It's awing, awing. Is that a word? Uh, because she's going to be able to see herself. I don't know what kind of situation is going to arise where it's going to make her see herself, but she's going to see herself. Um, there's problem solving and a final decision. Okay. And Spirit said in the middle of that, that she will be healing and moving forward and overcoming depression with the Five of Cups in reverse. Very emotional, water sign energy. But this is going to continue to leave her with a bad reputation, a lack of focus, and a boring job with her entrepreneurship um, with the Eight of Pentacles because she's not focusing on the proper goals. Okay. What is her biggest obstacle? Remember, I read biggest obstacle in reverse. Okay, well, there's a big obstacle here with the King of Pentacles, whomever you're laying up with or, you know, romanticizing with or participating in physical activities with. Someone is unfaithful. Someone is corrupt and or greedy. And Spirit said that this is layered. This goes back and forth. It's just not one person. It's both of you. And again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Spirit is also acknowledging. So this is an obstacle. Returning home is an obstacle. Being faced with delays, be feeling like there's nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go is an obstacle with the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Pentacles. 
pentacles in reverse. You're ungrounded, a bad mom, and full of manipulation. That's an, um, another obstacle. And then finally, in the middle of the deck, holding on to the past, a fear of change, and negative patterns. Remember I talked about patterns earlier, doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. That's insanity. So Spirit is acknowledging, again, negative patterns with the death card in reverse. Okay, sending her love and life. What's next for Nika plus 10 editions? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit is saying that she's going to be gambling, holding on to um, gambling, focusing on generosity and letting go with the four pentacles in reverse. Uh, moving forward, she's going to collab and rub shoulders with the right people, recognition and working and getting some like working hard um, and hard work paying off. Listen. Again, Spirit said that they're tired and that she's getting ready to see herself. And it's going to bring about a change. It will. It will. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, um, there is a supportive lover in the middle of the deck. Um, someone who is shy and feminine, daydreaming and emotional. This person, I feel, and this is a water sign. Who is this water sign? Because this energy came up before. Let's clarify this person in the middle of the deck. I feel like when I've read on her before, there is a female energy that comes and is going to shake the table, for lack of better words. And this is what she can't see. So as things get better, there's somebody that's coming that's going to shake this table. Yeah, she is a family feud and a huge debt. There's a female coming um, with a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And she's strong. She's full of self-love. She's calm. She's being brave. But she's about to shake the table. She is about to come and make... Oh, if she hasn't done so already. Is she the reason why Nika and her significant other aren't together? It feels like there's a female coming through. That's like, mm, move out, get out the way. Get out the way. Bitch, get out the way. Move. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah. She's paranoid around this energy. She feels very isolated and antisocial. Earth sign energy becoming a conformist when she typically is a non-conformist. And it's shaking up the home. and shaking the table for her, okay? So um, that's that. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.